Whatever do you want? <coughs> oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. You owe me money. Why'd it have to come uh, to this, huh? Uh, believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. A little patience is all I require. <coughs> you ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. Your dad's caught you, Mister, and it ain't letting go. <sighs> you borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it.
Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> 
an interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I the right way. They all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. But I know how to get things done efficiently. Arthur, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. <laughs> Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just. Northwesty here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Oh, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feller's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there.
Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. We could do it now. Sneak in, and I'll get the coach. You can try the house. Or wait until morning when I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show. While you sneak into the house, find what you can, and then get the stagecoach. What do you think? Let's wait. Okay. <laughs> Let's get on with this, Mr. Uh, Morgan. Yes. <clears throat> Let me head up there and make a fool of myself. <laughs> with pleasure. Just don't get caught. Because it's me, they'll shoot first. <clears throat> Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. Worse than you, sir. I was broke. Is that better? Just a bit. Done, Arthur? Yep. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Get on, dear boy. Get 
us moving, Arthur. Why are we going so slow? Come on, get on and let's head back. Oh, there's a problem. Our chest was wrong. You bastards. You bastards. Junior, get the gun. We need to get out of here. If you come after us, you're dead. You hear me? Get back to Emerald Ranch and finish things up. Yep. So what were you able to lift from the house? Slow it down a bit. A few bits and pieces. None too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. <laughs> okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. <clears throat> Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. Get on out there, Mr. Morgan. Fine. Hmm. What's it like? It's a decent place. 